Each individual protocol will specify the minimum pass levels. This video will only cover pass levels for OSHA and INDG protocols. So for the OSHA protocol, a good way to remember pass levels is to multiply the protection factor by 10. So as an example, a half-face disposable respirator will have a protection factor of 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So the minimum fit factor pass level for this mask here will be 100. For a half-face reusable, once again, it has a protection factor of 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. So once again, a pass level of 100. For a full-face respirator, it has a protection factor of 100. So 100 times 10 is 1,000. So for any full face respirator, pass level will always be 1,000. To summarize, half face disposable and half face reusable, pass level of 100. And then any full face respirator, pass level of 1,000. So as a summary, for the OSHA and INDG protocols, we have the following pass levels. So for INDG 479, previously called HSE 28228, the pass level of an N95 respirator is 100. For a half face, it's also 100. For a full face, it's 2000. For the OSHA protocol, an N95 respirator has a pass level of 100. For a half face, it's 100. And for a full face, it's 500 or 1000. It should be noted that the minimum pass level in the OSHA protocol is 500 for a full face piece. We always recommend using 1000 as a minimum pass level, as when we are testing a full face, we are using P3 filters and the protection factor for a full face will be 100, not 50.